Hello, this is Sarah Brash. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I want to do a quick video about why I use the language woke KKK and lynching, why I said and why I say that USA Today and Richard Painter tried to lynch me on Thanksgiving. Um, you know, and I know that I've explained this before, but I just want to explain it again. And I just want to, I'm going to probably put this as my introductory video on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on my Patreon. And uh, perhaps I will also do a introductory video just for YouTube and then make my Patreon video exclusive, which in fact is what I think I'm going to do. So I just want to be clear. I understand why people question this. I understand why people say that this is offensive. I completely understand this point where people say you should only be using terms like lynching or the KKK to describe historical truth to describe what actually happened. And I agree with this. And actually I agree with this point. And the and I know that it might be sound surprising to people that I actually agree with this point, but I do. And this is actually why I'm using this language. Because I think that when we use these terms to, and this is what I think the point that most people are making, is that I think when we use these terms to describe other events, I'll go ahead and say lesser events or events of less gravity. Let's put it that way. And we, and we use these terms almost flippantly then and say like, oh, someone was lynched when they were not actually lynched. And what happened to them didn't even come close to a lynching. But when someone is abusing this term, and I do think it's abusing the term, abusing the term, they cheapen it, they debase the gravity, the weight that that term should carry. And I completely understand this point, and I actually completely agree with this point. So then you might be asking yourself, well, why on earth am I using this term then if I understand that using this term for something that is not in fact a lynching or using the term KKK to describe a group of persons who are not in fact have nothing to do with the historical reality of what the KKK was, um, you know, basically an extrajudicial mob that meted out gross mob injustice and actually lynched people mostly black men in the South in particular. I understand that. So why would I be using this language then if I understand this point and if I agree with this point that we should not be cheapening these terms? And I do think it's okay to use the term lynching. I believe it is used appropriately in a case like Ahmaud Arbery's killing. Then I agree that it's appropriate to use the term lynching. Um, and I, I actually concur with the NAACP's in the USA Today op-ed that I have, you know, vehemently criticized. Uh, I agree with, they cite the NAACP's definition of a lynching as a public killing without due process. And I concur with that definition. And so you're asking yourself, well, then why am I using these terms? So I'm using these terms basically as a mirror, as a reflection back to black trauma, moral outrage industry, charlatans and frauds and fake news press charlatans and frauds like USA Today, like Richard Painter. I'm using these terms to reflect back to them their bigotry, their stupidity, their gross and egregious irresponsibility.
because I want them to understand that they are the persons who are abusing these terms. They are the persons who are cheapening these terms. They are the persons who are exploiting the murders of black men and boys, including Ahmaud Arbery exploiting them and destroying the living while black movement and they're doing they're turning the living while black movement into a race hoax and a blood sport targeting and v and demonizing vulnerable white women like myself by comparing me to Ahmad Arbery's killers and saying that I either was lynching or was trying to lynch black students at Yale so what I'm trying to point out is how disgusting, revolting, vile it is for black trauma, moral outrage industry, charlatans and frauds like USA Today and Richard Painter to cheapen the term lynching and to use it to apply to me. And they're not doing this because they care about black people or racism or police brutality. They are doing it to put black trauma moral outrage industry dollars into their pockets. And they don't care if they destroy the living while black movement by turning it into a race hoax. And they don't care if they get innocent civil rights attorneys and Yale PhD candidates like myself killed. They're doing this for money. They are doing this for money. They are the ones cheapening those terms and lessening the gravity, the gravity of those terms. And what I'm doing by using this language to describe, and they actually are putting my life in danger. When the US, when USA Today and Richard Painter compare me to Ahmaud Arbery's killers, and say that I was trying to lynch black students at Yale, they are, they are trying to get me killed. They are trying to lynch me because it is, just like the NAACP said, a public killing without due process. And that's what they're doing to me. They And, and they're destroying living while black in the process. They are destroying it. They have destroyed it. It is destroyed. It has been destroyed. It is a destroyed movement just like the Me Too movement is defunct. Living, the Living While Black movement is now defunct also. And it was destroyed by charlatans and frauds like USA Today and Richard Painter who cheapened and, and lessened the gravity of, the, of the, the weight of the term lynching. And they did, they were trying to get me killed and they were trying to impose social death upon me by calling for me to be expelled, disbarred, fired, made destitute, thrown out onto the street, penniless. You try, they were trying to drive me to suicide and they were trying to get me killed. They were trying to incite my murder. So they were trying to lynch me by comparing me to Ahmaud Arbery's killers and by saying that I was trying to lynch black students at Yale. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. I use this language to reflect back to the black trauma moral outrage industry, to the fake news press, how vile and disgusting they are when they abuse these terms. And that's, so that, that's why I use those terms. And I, I want people to understand that, that that's the point that I'm trying to make. I'm trying to say that these, that these terms should not be cheapened in this matter. So it's almost when people are upset, offended, even disgusted, when I use this language, that's good because that's my opportunity then to explain why I'm using this language. I'm reflecting back the evil of the black trauma moral outrage industry and the fake news press of the Richard Painters, the USA Todays, of the New York Times, of Jamel Bowie, of the Roxane Gays, the Ijeoma Oluos, The View. I'm reflecting their evil back to them so that they can appreciate and so that the whole world can appreciate how evil they are. That's why I'm doing it. I don't want this video to get too long, so I'll wrap up there. I'm sure I will have much, much more to say about this topic. 
But I love you all so much. I will have all of my fundraising links below. Please donate to my legal fund. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.